Hello lovely people, Charlotte from Not Just Shadow by Charlotte here. I'm your Nottingham Fusion Mineral Paint Stockist and welcome to video two of five of me walking you through the Fusion colour range. So I've already walked you through the creams, um, the whites, creams, through to browns. And now I thought I'd talk grey, which um, everybody loves a grey, they're not going away. So we've got um, eight shades through from very pale through to black, so I'm going to walk you through. But um, hopefully this will help you to um, decide which is the right colour for your scheme. But before we do that, I'll just just in case this is, this is the first video you've watched, I will just let you know that we also have Fusion colour cards to help you choose, which you can um, buy from the website. These have um, good size swatches on them, which are true to colour, true to finish, so they will show you exactly what your finished paint will dry like. So two ninety nine, you can get a colour card. Four seventy five, you can get test spots, so you can see how the paint will um, compare to your decor and your soft finishings and your walls and that kind of thing and um, see what it can look like in the light of your room because each room will have a very slightly different colours of light and then the 500ml pots for when you've chosen your colour and you decide to go for it and um, they go miles. We've got coverage guides that you can download on the website so you know how much paint you're going to need for your project and those pots will go miles. So there, so as well as this video to help you choose your colours, you've also got lots of lovely things that Fusion give you. So, let's dive straight in and talk colour, because that is my favourite. So this is the range of greys in Fusion, and what other paint range gives you eight shades of grey to choose from. And they're all mixable as well, so if you want something in between these two shades, not a problem, mix them together. Or if you love ash but you want it a little bit paler, Mix things together, the world is your oyster. Have fun, go wild, go a bit, um, as I call it, go a bit Willy Wonka. Just start mixing and see what happens. But if you want to take straight from the range, let me start you off with lamp white. So lamp white is a white, but it's a grey toned white. So if you want to add a white to your scheme, but you want it to be complementary with um, grain, greys, you want everything to sit together nicely, that is your palest, palest, grey toned, cool toned white. Next on the list, we have Sterling. So Sterling is just getting very slightly um, darker in tone. It's still very cool toned. I would say it's not a warm grey, it's still very much a cool grey, which means it's very fresh and it will lift your colour scheme. If you're struggling for light in your room and you want something fresh, Sterling is um, a great choice. It's lovely. It goes with loads. It's great. What does it say on the back? Our coolest neutral, the silver grey, crosses a number of design styles from traditional to contemporary to coastal in equal parts calming and refreshing. So there you go, yeah, it can look great in a coastal scheme because it's got those slight watery blue colours to it. So there is your sterling. Then next we move up to pebble. So you can see that pebble isn't a million miles away from sterling, it's just slightly warmer. So if you want a pale grey, but you um, you don't want it to be cool, your colour scheme is a bit more warm, you've got more warm shades and hues in your room, then Pebble is the way to go. Beautiful shade. Next we move on to Little Lamb. So, Little Lamb is so popular. It is um, a really versatile shade. So it goes with, Little Lamb looks insanely amazing with Damask. So it can look really soft and feminine with Damask. But then if you pair it with other more masculine shades, it can look almost sort of battleship and a lot more like, say, masculine. So Little Lamb, very popular grey shade. Um, I guess I love all of the shades, you really can't go wrong with Little Lamb, it goes with loads. So that's sort of our nice mid-toned grey in the range. Then, now some people wouldn't include Sacred Sage as a grey, but I do, because you see how... Hang on, that's not what I meant to click on. Right. I think sometimes when you put little lamb in a room, you might find that it's a little bit blue and it lift, and it fights other accessories that you've got going off in the room. Sacred Sage is a similar tone, which means it's a similar sort of level of darkness, it's mid-toned, but it's that little bit warmer because it's a sage, it's leaning towards the greens. So if you want, in a, in a lot of rooms, Sacred Sage will read grey in a lot of lights. So... And Sacred Sage is from the Lisa Marie Home range, which is my favourite range. Um, and all of the shades in there are inspired by nature, so they're very soft and natural and greyed off. Hence why it's great in the 
a range of greys. So this will also feature in my greens because in a, in a green colour scheme, in a certain light, it will read as green. But there you go, that's sacred soap. What do we have next? Oh, soapstone. Soapstone is an amazing colour. It's such a fun colour because it's what we call metameric, which means it will react differently to different lights. So throughout the day, your piece of furniture will keep performing because it will keep being fun. It will just slightly change colour. So it is a sort of mid to dark tone of grey. And in certain lights, it will just have this blue or purple hue to it. And then as it, then as it starts to get darker, it'll be really deep and rich. And then in the morning light, it'll be fresh and light, it'll be brighter. It's just, it's a really cool, lovely colour, which means that you can mix it into so many colour schemes. But it's definitely got bluey, purpley undertones in it. So um, if you're looking for a grey that does that, there you go. Like imagine it with... Um, with heathers, with lavenders and that kind of thing, It'll, it would work beautifully with those if you were looking for a grey to fit into that kind of scheme. Then we move on to ash. What do I say about ash? You probably already know about ash because it is our top seller. It is a fave. It, that cabinet behind is painted in ash. It is just an amazing colour. It looks, it's a deep, deep charcoal. It looks amazing with dark wood, as you can see on this cabinet behind me. Oh, how far back we go to get there? You go, dark wood. Um, it looks great with oak. It looks great with pale beech. Um, depending on the style of the piece of furniture you're painting, and depending on the hardware that you put in it, ash can be super heritage, traditional, grounded colour, or it can be really modern and just bring a piece up to date. It is so versatile. Um, I think that's why it's our top seller. Because I don't think you're ever going to get bored of it. It's just going to keep giving and giving and giving and you're going to love it forever. And then, last but not least, the darkest shade in the grey, coal black. Coal black, I'm having a proper love affair with coal black at the moment. It's just so elegant. It looks insane with um, gold leaf and gilding. It just, it's so clean and crisp and elegant. Um, so that's coal black. So, um... Yeah, there you go. That's our little range. I'm trying to find them out so you can see them all. That's our little range from Lamp White through Lamp White, Sterling, Pebble, Little Lamb, Sacred Sage, Soapstone, Ash and Coal Black. The range of greys. I hope that helps. As ever, um, message me, call me, PM me if you've got any questions. Lots of love. Bye.